this is what today we are going to talk about getting the stationary points and the nature of the curve uh, we are having this question uh, and they want us to get the stationary points and the nature of the curve now what we are going to do we are going to first find dy dx which will be 4x cubed minus 12 x squared I think you agree up to that level and we, we can factorize this one further and we get 4 x squared into x minus 3 I hope you agree up to this level now at the stationary point the dy the x equals to 0 so I have to equate 0 to of which I don't want to go into further details uh, in here we shall get x to 0 and x to positive 3 in that what do I mean if my dy dx equals to 0 it means if I put here positive 3 automatically the whole function will be 0 and if I put x as 0 in any of these where x is found I'll still get my dy dx as 0 now having this I'm going to say I'm going to put these values in the original equation which I have this one and if I try to put that I would I'm going to say when x is equal to 0 my y will also be 0 trying to put in this original and when I have my x to be positive 3 I will get my y as negative 27 I hope you agree on that so the stationary values or points of this curve they are at the coordinates I'm going to give so I'm going to say thus the stationary values or points of the given curve occurs at the origin 0 0 and positive 3 negative 27 so these are the stationary points of the curve being given so I'm going to determine the shape or oh, some people call it the nature of the curve that's the next point now to determine the nature or shape of the curve I'm going to say I'm going to have a kind of a table I'm going to say value of X then I will have the sign of the Y the X this is kind of the table I'm going to have and please follow very critically because what I'm going to do is simple I don't want to make it very difficult I'm going to use the values here I have the values of X uh, from the derivative I've got is the values I'm going to get the nature of the curve so I'm going to get the left hand side of that zero this zero and also I'm going to get the right hand side of that zero so I also going to get the left hand side of the positive 3 and also the right hand side of the positive 3 so please look, look very critical on what I'm going to do 
now I'm going to use my dy dx to determine so if I have 0 on the negative side of the number line if you know the number line on the left hand side I will have negative 1 negative 2 going further but I'm going to pick the immediate value just before 0 which will be negative 1 if I try to put here negative 1 in here as my x this one will give me a positive value and if I try to put negative 1 here the whole thing will give me a negative I think you agree on that so I'll get a negative if I try to put the 0 itself in here everything will be 0 if I to try to get on the right hand side of 0 if you know integers number line the positive integer will get is 1 on the right hand side if I try to put in here 1 as x I'll still get a negative value so going to positive 3 if I try to go on the left hand side of positive 3 let me take mm, positive 2 try to put here positive 2 in here I'll still get a negative number or a negative value if I try to put 3 itself from this equation I'll still get a 0 right if I try to get any number on the right side of positive 3 let me take 4 the immediate one I'll be able to get if I put here 4 I'll get a positive value so in here I'm almost done so getting the nature of the curve the negative means a drawing of the slope it's kind of sloping negative and my zero means inflection there's nothing in there still the negative shows a drop in the gradient so this is my inflection this one so a negative in here means a dropping of the slope the zero means an inflection but you wait i haven't finished let me first finish this then i'll know the nature of the curve in here so this this is a positive it means there is a positive kind of gradient so in here it's like a curve which will be my minimum actually minimum so the nature of the curve is this this is how we determine the nature of the curve therefore by conclusion i'm going to say the stationary value of our given curve are 0 and negative 27 and also this origin 0 0 which we had here or here at determining the nature of the curve is a point of inflection and the coordinates we have the positive 3 negative 27 also is the minimum minimum point of the curve so thank, thank you very much please like subscribe comment uh, for further growth of this channel thank you very much